Well, hey guys, I was snooping around. I found a great site called Court Listener. Uh, I'll leave the links uh, down below. I uh, found Randall Bean's case there, and uh, Judge Clifford Shirley Jr. is presiding over these filings. It was filed on July 18th. Last known date of, date of filing is the 31st. Started off with a motion to seal the case by the U.S. Corporation, and that was granted on the same day. So a sealed indictment as to uh, Randall Keith Bean and Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe uh, was issued on the 18th. Uh, sealed document, unredacted indictment, uh, entered on the 18th. And uh, so then we had, uh, I don't know, uh, what was it, just a few days after? I'm trying to think, was it the, hmm. I don't even want to offer a date if I'm not sure of the right date. But between the 18th and the 26th sometime, Randy was arrested. And he issued a petition for writ of Horbius Capit, Horbius, <laughs> I can talk, habeas corpus. And basically what this says uh, is he's saying, all right, uh, you need to produce evidence that says that you've legally detained me and arrested me. And, and so that order was granted and an, an, an <laughs> wow, I am just tripping all over myself today. An initial appearance was set for the 27th. And the case is unsealed on the 27th. Uh, what day was it that Heather was arrested? Don't remember. Did they unseal it after both of them were arrested? I don't know. Hmm. So then we have an initial hearing. Bobby Hudson appointed for Randall Bean. Not guilty plea entered. If there's a plea agreement, that's got a due date of 913. So we've got a month for that plea agreement due date. Jury trial set for October 3rd, 2017. 9 a.m. courtroom four in Knoxville before Judge Tom Varlin. Pre-trial conference set for what the same day that the uh, agreement, uh, the plea agreement uh, expires, and that's before Clifford Shirley. Defendant remained in custody. So, so they're not they're not giving him bail or bond. Financial affidavit by Randy Bean. So CJA. I'm not quite sure what that is. I've seen it around before. So there's an order appointing the federal defender as to Randall K. Bean. All right, Randy waives his detention uh, hearing on the 27th. Order of detention for Randall Bean signed. Order on discovery and scheduling. I'm not sure quite what that is, but in, unless this is uh, the judge ordering both parties to, well, you know, the, the, the U.S. Corporation, the plaintiff, they've got to turn over all their evidence to the defense. So that's what discovery is all about. Uh, and so scheduling, well, they're just, they're just housekeeping here. That's what they're doing. All right. And then the pretrial conference is set. The arrest warrant returned executed in the case of Randall Bean. Hmm. 
Notice of appearance filing. Notice of appearance of Heather Ann Tucci as self pro per entered. So this was on August 4th. Huh. Okay, so this is just, all right, so Heather or Bose filed this uh, notice of it. So pro per, that's, she's representing herself. So, so this is something filed in the docket that she's representing herself. Um, and a due declaration of addendum of law, presumption and perpetuity, cancellation of true bill, attachments number one, other shipping label, and the initials, pages one through four footer stating that this is document two filed on 8-7-2017, is not a footer created by U.S. District Courts, uh, EDTN, this is the electronic filing systems, and was inserted by the party before filing so they're just making that clear that there's a different footnote on there and on the 11th the original due declaration of addendum of law presumption and perpetuity cancellation of true bill as to Randall Keith Bean uh, so so that's all that's that's all that's on the docket so far but what we can see is that at courtlistener.com these documents that, that everyone's been talking about with referencing uh, these TDA accounts, all these UCC supporting documents, uh, that's what they've filed here. And, and there's, this is, video is just a document that it looks like, it looks like those things have been filed and are part of the court system. So. I am asking the court system to to really take an honest inspection and respection of this information and take a very aware approach and listen to the information that is coming about the authority or lack thereof that the courts have. Uh, I mean, I can just only hope that a whole bunch of individuals working together, both inside and outside the system, will do the right thing here.